Hi everybody, welcome to a new video. Uh, today we're gonna answer one of the questions and uh, uh, it's how to give power to uh, to manage to to do what give uh, what they call rights to uh, ETC hosts and you'll be able to do what to edit it, do whatever you want to in that file. So now I received that from one of our viewers here I say can you make a video about how to give myself access to etc host I can edit it but when I'm done I can't save it okay okay who's what is his name his name is uh, Tyson Peterson so this is super cool I'm gonna do that then I'm gonna post a video to, to him back and uh, the video we're gonna name it is question and say how to give yourself access to it is a host okay I think that is a that is great so <clears throat> that's why we say also you if you get something like that please tell us let us know how uh, we can do a video for you okay right so we are now going to the second section something very simple not something so difficult we go to you go to we're gonna first of all we're gonna look for that folder um, go to etc host okay computer uh, you go to etc then you look for the file called hosts it's not a folder it's a file F fg after g because they go alphabetically so you go fg you can see a g after g is h so h is where you're gonna find your hosts you see this is hosts so you right click on that and say edit with you can see now here this is what it says I can do this and put whatever I want to put but if I save I can't save you see right that's what he's crying for so we're gonna do that quickly so now what we're gonna do we're gonna close that then what we're gonna do it's gonna be simple we're gonna go to terminal and uh, we say terminal then we say terminal Okay, after doing that we come here and we say sudo first of all we have to be sudo and su and then we say password okay we enter after when we enter then that's simple then we're gonna say um, uh, we're gonna first of all we're gonna no let's see the, the file first we're gonna see um, sudo ch ch mod okay minus capital r okay then we say space then we say triple seven then we say space then we say etc then we say forward slash uh forward slash uh, hosts after that we say enter they say there's no file in, that, in the directory so I think what we need to do is to put a slash here, forward slash here, and say, yeah. Once you've done with this step, it simply means now you've got powers to, to do what? To edit. You put just this line, ch mod minus capital R, triple seven, forward slash etc, forward slash hosts. So once you're done with that, then you can go back to your hosts and look for hosts file. This is the host file. Okay, when I open it, you can see there's a save button. So when I'm in that, then I want to put something just uh, uh, whatever I want to put here. I want to put uh, something like, uh, okay, I'm going to say that and say, say we have edited and saved. Okay after doing that you can see that it gives us time to save when I've saved I save it worked you can see this we're gonna close it and we're gonna go back and we find if that was saved for real so what we do here we're gonna go back here and go to other then we say computer then after that we look for etc then after that we look for <coughs> hosts Host file comes after G. Uh, we're gonna look for G. Okay. 
okay hosts you see this hosts then after we edit you can see we have this line we put in here it's working 100% you can see that that's super fine you get me so that is so easy to do now so I'm gonna delete that still then we save and see if our saving worked again I'm deleting that I've saved that then I'm cancel that I'm gonna close that again then I'm gonna go back to that area and I look for hosts uh, computer then I go to oh, etc then I look for G after the files G then after G I'm gonna find host that is the host file then I click open here now you can see that there is no anything here which can which I put so once you edit this file make sure you get what they call a backup because you might mess up and then you're in trouble so you can copy all of this if you want to to do before you edit you copy all of this you can go somewhere and say maybe text you look for text area remember we can do you can do this in Linux also you can do this in uh, ubuntu and the linux mint uh, so you get this you save this here and uh, you save as you're gonna say maybe hosts backup backup so you know that you .tx. so you know that i'm gonna save it to my documents then i save you know that even if you mess up uh, you have your backup so whatever you do here wrong you're gonna just come and copy everything here uh, and take it back here you get me so but that file is editable the reason why he was not able to edit it because he was not sudo so once you become sudo everything becomes fine so once you've saved your file you go back here before you do anything and uh, go to this file open it after opening it you look at that file you go back also to hosts um, where is hosts go back here on by on hosts and uh, you look for what etc and uh, you scroll down here and you find hosts uh, after finding hosts you're gonna be fine so once you find hosts then open this file the backup compare it line to line you see if you never forgot to copy anything copy come here also do the same thing you check if you never uh, did anything wrong everything if it's fine line by line this side line by line this side once you know that everything is 100 percent fine then you can start your edit up as we did in the what in in, in, the, in the first what section so now this uh, gives you power to do uh, the same thing I've done you can do it to each and any file you want here so that you give yourself powers to do what to edit each and every file you need so remember to as i said you can do this in kali linux ubuntu and linux mint and also maybe all other linux flavors which i haven't touched like fedora red hat and stuff all the commands are mm, pretty the same much of them they are the same uh, and also you can go if you, you're using IBM's AIX also the commands are not that different from AIX because uh, from Linux because the AIX commands are 40% Linux commands so some tasks like this you may find like you do the same thing again because they if you want to become sudo in uh, Linux uh, in, 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 in what in AIX you just say sudo so then you put a minus because here you remember we did sudo so but there you do sudo so then you put a minus here you say enter so also they use ch mod as we have we've done here you get me so this thing is easier uh very very easier so if you're using a unix based system chances are high that this command can help you to do that you get but the first thing is like you have to locate where the file is the file you want to do what to deal with that's why in the first place this one gave us trouble because it wanted the what the first to be with a, uh, a forward slash before we do ax 
access it you get me so that's the reason why it says no such file on the directory you get me so if you saw if you see that message just know that you just have to put a forward slash before you put etc then after etc forward slash then you say host you get me so that's the only way you can do it guys do not forget to subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video so if we forgot something please try to uh, to, to 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 remind us so that also the viewers get benefits